In this video, we are going to be learning how to solve multi-step inequalities and word problems. Now, the multi-step inequalities I'm going to focus on are ones with fractions, to give us a little bit more practice with fractions. So let's take a look at my first one. We have 3 over 5x minus 1 half is less than 2 plus x. So in this case here, first thing is, I want to get all my x's on the same side. I'm going to look at which side has my bigger x, and that's going to be my right-hand side. So I'm going to subtract negative, I'm going to subtract 3 over 5x from both sides. Now this is the same here, 1x is the same as 5 over 5, because we're subtracting fractions, right? So that's going to end up giving me, we have negative 1 over 2 must be less than 2, and 5 minus 3 is going to be plus 2 over 5x. Now I'm going to get all my whole numbers, or all my numbers on one side. So I have all my variables on one side, now I've got to get my numbers on one side. So I'm going to minus 2 from both sides. So if I look at this, 2 is the same as 4, uh, sorry, 2 is the same as 4 over 2. So we have negative 1 over 2 and negative 4 over 2 gives me negative 5 over 2. Alright, now looking across here, all we have to do is simplify for x and if we notice everything is positive so we don't have to switch the sign. When I multiply, so I'm going to multiply everything by 5 over 2. Multiply this by 5 over 2. So I end up getting negative 25 over 4 is less than x. And that's it. This here is my inequality simplified or solved. Let's take a look at my next one here. In this one, I have 3 over 2x plus 1 over 2 is greater than 7 over 3x minus 3 over 4. Well, first thing I look at, I know 7 over 3 is greater than 3 over 2. So I'm going to move this 3 over 2 to this side. So I'm going to subtract 3 over 2. Here I'm going to subtract 3 over 2x. Now just a quick little math here, we have 7 over 3 subtract 3 over 2. That's the same thing as 14 over 6 subtract 9 over 6, which is going to give me 5 over 6. So we have, once again, 1 over 2 is greater than 5 over 6 x, and we're going to minus 3 over 4. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to get all of our numbers on one side, right? So it's pretty much solving, right? E equations, except there's an inequality sign there. And so I'm just going to add 3 over 4 to both sides. Okay, so this is like 2 uh, so over 4, this is 2 over 4 plus 3 over 4 gives me 5 over 4. So now we want to solve for x, so I'm going to multiply everything by the reciprocal of this, f, of this uh, coefficient, which is going to be 6 over 5. I multiply all of this by 6 over 5. So I look at this here, these 5s cancel out because 5 divided by 5 is 1. These, this is going to be a 2, this is going to be a 3. So I'm left with 3 over 2 must be greater than x. And that is it. All right, let's look at our first word problem here. It says, on Saturdays, Campus Clothes sells at least 25 more jackets than any other day of the week. The store has never sold more than 84 jackets in one day. Create an inequality to find any other day of the week. Okay, so we know here that the most they could sell is 84, right? So everything else is less than or equal to that 84. 84 is the biggest, so the alligator head's going to open to the mouth is going to open to the 84. Now, 
Every other day of the week, we're going to say is X, and Saturday sells at least 25 more. So we're going to say plus 25. Now looking at this here, there is my equation. That's it. This is my inequality. Now I want to solve it. So to solve it, first thing I'm going to do is minus 25, minus 25. So I'm going to get 59 must be greater than or equal to x. So the most they could ever sell or they've ever sold on a weekday, according to this, is 59 jackets. All right? Let's take a look at my next one. It says Bianca must keep her phone bill below $55 a month. So we have the max. It must be below $55 a month. So we're going to have 55, and we, that must be the biggest. And it cannot equal. It must be below $55 a month. The basic charge is $15. And it costs her $2 per minute. Ah, so two times the minutes. So we have $15, and then we have plus 2 per minute times the minutes. Create and solve an inequality. Well, we already did that by reading out my equation here. All right, so we have $55 a month is my max. Well, it has to be under, so it's not even a max. Can't equal that. So the alligator must equal $55. And then we have 15 plus 2m. Now we want to solve for this inequality. So first thing I'm going to do is minus 15 from both sides. So I get 40 uh, must be greater than 2m. So now I divide both by 2, so I get 20 is greater than m. So basically, she could call, she must spend less than 20 minutes on the phone to Taiwan. Okay? So less than she must spend less than 20 minutes to Taiwan. Okay.